Hey guys, good evening guys. How is everyone doing? Um, if you are watching this live now, you know, just say hi and um, uh, is my sound, uh, I mean, um, okay with you guys, you know, just let me know. So today will be the last live of this um, Cherry Jalan with Dylan, Jamie and Wing. So if you are watching this live now, you know, um, I will want to wish you a happy new year first. Yeah, because I we won't be seeing each other until next week. Yeah. So if you are watching this live, now just say a hi or whatever is it. Um, yeah, just type it on the on the comment box so that I know that you are watching this live now. I know it's like um, you know, is what day is that? It's Tuesday night, you know. Um, and everyone is like you know going out for dinner and uh, yeah today we will just be myself and uh, Jamie will be coming in uh, in a while so check yeah Dylan um, Dylan and Song got some events so they wouldn't be able to join in so yeah if you guys are watching this live now just say a hi to me my name is Wing Hot I am your host for tonight so um, if you have any question can you guys actually hear me all right if you guys can hear me i mean if you guys cannot hear me you know just let me know all right so um yeah today is the last live for this year if you guys have any um questions regarding shopee or lazada i will try my very best to help you guys to answer because my two seafood is not here my um dylan and jamie is not here tonight so yeah I will try my very best to help you guys out. All right. So um, yeah, um, this live is about you guys. If you have any question, you know, just post it on the comment box, and then I will try my very best to help you guys. And the thing is that um, you know, a lot of you guys have been want to start your Shopee or Lazada business, you know, for quite a while because we have been doing this live for like um nearly nine months already. Yeah so yeah you still have like uh, two more days to start your business on shopee and um yeah i mean you can start pretty much any online business that you want not necessary on shopee you know you can um, start a business on affiliate marketing uh, um selling stuff online like shopee um youtube you know there are a lot a lot of different kind of online business that you actually can start you know I know that um, a lot of people are talking about Shopee, drop shipping, you know, selling on Shopee. But um, the real fact is that, you know, selling on a um, platform like Shopee or any platform like Lazada, you know, um, is not really suitable for everyone. Hi, Ned, how are you? So, yeah, it is not really suitable for every single one. Some of you guys, um, you know, you might not like to um, sell uh um physical products you know then nah that this is not for you you know some of if you like to do like a video then you can uh you can just um do uh, uh um, you know become a youtuber you know or do some video on youtube all right so yeah how how do brand owner apply for shopee more the very first thing that you have to do is that um let me pull this the very first thing that you have to do is you have to get a letter from the company that the brand company you need you need you need them to write a letter um, to authorize that you are the the owner you know or, or whatever is it you know or you are the sole distributor or whatever then you have to send it to shop to shopee then they will do whatever that they have to do okay thanks Nat. so um while waiting for more questions to come in i would just like to quickly go um, rewind back you know how does all this um shopee dropshipping started and um how does kaki kaki shopee started okay just let me quickly share my screen oh no just let me share my last uh, my my youtube channel first how to sell so um let me bring it in so this is my very very first video that is on lazada which i started this is the very first video inside my channel which is on 29 december 2016 okay no this is my second video sorry this is my second video 
So I started up selling um, on Lazada on 2016. At the time, I was doing, um, I was using, what you call it, um, Kumo 10 to drop ship to Lazada. And that's why I make a video about that, you know. Sell on Lazada. How can you register on Lazada? And to register, just you need in order for you two questions. Yeah, so it is, it is just a very simple video where I introduce how do you register um, as a Lazada seller. Yeah, you get about 19,000 views in four years. It's not too bad, you know. At that time, I still do not know like what sort of things that I want to do. On my youtube channel i just um you know chin chin chai just try that because i was selling on lazada so i just like to like um share how do you actually can start on lazada then the next one is on bahasa Anda? yeah so it's on september so on 2016 i only have one video and then 2017, I, have, I, I think about two or three videos. Yeah. Then another one in 2017. Yeah, so I started up dropshipping actually quite early, like um, four years back. Yeah, with Lazada. So, and then fast forward, you know, um, 2020 now. Um, yeah, it's about uh, four or five years already. And another channel that I want to share with you guys is this Kaki Kaki Shopee. Yeah, so this is um, Kaki Kaki Shopee. Okay, so this is also a Facebook group that I started, I think about two years back. So the goal of this, um, this Facebook group is to help people that want to start their business on Shopee and also on Lazada. The reason why I started this, um, this, uh, I mean, this Facebook group is that I really want to help people, you know, um, to start up their online business. It, it, it is actually, it's not hard to start, to be very honest. It's not hard to start. Yeah. I mean, if I can do it, I'm pretty sure everyone uh, in this world that definitely can do it as well. And I pretty sure that you guys can definitely do a lot, a lot better um than me all right so yeah if you have any question you know you can just pop up on just just post it on kaki kaki shopee and then you will definitely get reply from this uh, um, group members if no then i will personally uh, uh answer the questions all right so yeah this is a very very interactive kind of um um facebook uh group so when I see these kind of things, you know, um, normally I would just delete and block right away because, um, yeah. All right. So yeah, it is a very friendly kind of, um, Facebook group, you know, no one can spam and no haters, you know, no one can criticize. You can give pro how should, uh, productive, is it, is it, is it how we call it productive? uh um opinions or suggestions but no hatred at um at all you no know, we just want to help each other in this group okay so yeah and then fast forwards you know from like zero subscriber and then i have about 100k subscriber now so it is really like um yeah you just have to keep doing it i mean i don't uh just have a quick over here so let me see Okay, so yeah, so let me see. Yeah, so I started my channel, you know, from scratch, and then now it's about 100 over K subscribers. So for those that really want to start um, um, online business, you know, do not stick yourself only on Shopee. Shopee is definitely not for everyone. You know, I can be very sure to say this, you know. So if you do not like to sell products, you know, it's actually definitely okay. There's nothing wrong with you guys, you know, that do not like to sell on Shopee, okay? Maybe you uh, you do not like to deal with um, physical products, you know. If you do not like to deal with physical products, then you can also drop ship or start selling 
physical products as well, right? So for those that know me, you know, I sell digital products as well on Shopee, okay? So you just have to find your own path, find your own way, what sort of thing that you want to do, all right? You can also start up on your YouTube channel, you know, if you like to do videos, you know. So there are a lot of things that you can do with our online business. Do not stuck your head only on Shopee, okay? Do whatever that you like to do that you're passionate about, all right? Don't because uh, Wing say, you know, start Shopee, then you start Shopee. Don't because um, Coach B say, you know, you start YouTube, then you start a YouTube channel. Not all business will suit um, you, all right? And I can say that all business, uh, all online business, you, you can make money out of it. You know, just that how much do you, do you make out of it, all right? So, yeah, I know. Yeah, so just um, find the things that you like, find the things that you like to do and then do it, do it. If you like to make videos, you know, do some YouTube videos and you can make pretty good money, you know, every month if you are good at it, you know, uh, and the consistency base is there. So yeah, you know, don't just follow whatever people say, that's it, yeah, that's it. Hi, Wing Hon. Thanks for a great insight. Just wondering, how do you keep your digital product from being packed? Um, actually, it's very, it's very tough. Yeah, it's very tough for me to, I mean, it's not for me. Like, it's very tough for all um, digital products creator um, to protect this kind of things. If you look at shop, if, if you look at Shopee, even like um, Gmail, even like those very big company, like uh, what do you call that? Like uh, those apps, you know, you can get it very, very cheap on Shopee because there is always people, you know, want to um, crack, you know, or just to hack on the system and then they just resell it on Shopee. If those big company, you know, they can't do it, I don't think that I can do it as well. And it is very tough to do it actually. So what do I normally do is that, uh, uh, for example, like ebook on the he on the heater and the footer, I will put my name there. Yeah, and then um every now and then during the the web credit uh, um the content, you know, I will also chip in my name inside there. Yeah, for those people that like to steal people things, you know, they will normally will not go through all this stuff in details one. Yeah, they will just uh uh um copy your stuff and then they'll just sell it as it is. They won't do any mo modifications. Yeah. So yeah, that I mean that is the I mean, if you, if you think about it, you know, even Rolex, you know, the watch Rolex also got pirate, pirated thing, pirated watch. So yeah, it is everywhere. We cannot stop this to be very honest. Yeah. Yo, good evening, Facebook user. So uh, yeah, if you have, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Okay. Regarding on Shopee, on YouTube, just whatever. Yeah, because this is the last live, you know, for this year. So yeah, any question, just let me know. Okay. And um, let me see. And by the way, I have posted a new video. If you guys can see this, go daddy. So I have posted a new video where I show you guys actually how you guys actually can drop ship from 1688 to Shopee with CJ dropshipping. You guys, if for you guys that want to um try or you know drop shipping from overseas punya suppliers, you can watch this video. Okay, but the things about drop shipping um with oh I mean with this kind of supplier is that um for me to be very honest, it's very, very ma fun, you know, it's very, very troublesome. And uh, because every time when you have a sales, you know, you have to um, go back to the suppliers, you have to reorder, you know, th those kind of work, we cannot, we cannot avoid, we have to, uh, we have to do those kind of works. Hi, search, how are you? So uh, it is not really like, you know, you click and then you buy kind of things. Dropshipping is definitely something that um, um, you will need to do a lot of works. You will need to do a lot of works, especially when you are drop shipping um products from overseas actually it happens in anywhere 
So in this video, I also discuss like what sort of things that a dropshipper normally do every single day because I have spoke to one of the, um, if you guys know Shopline, Shopline is one of the company that I work very, 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 very close with now, you know? So Shopline is like um, Shopify, but they cater more to Southeast Asia Punya user, all right? So what they do is that, um, they ex I mean, they explain to me like those like very, very strong dropshipper in um, China that earn like a couple of millions every single month. So what they do every single day, okay, please listen this carefully. Yeah. So what they do every single day is that it's very simple. They will post at least three, five, three to five new products on their store and put some money to do the ads and let the products run for a couple of days. If it hits, then they will continue the products and the ads. If not, then they will take it off or leave it there. Then they will post up another three or four more on new products. So that is what they do every single day. Okay, if you want to look at a professional um, dropshipper, so that is what they do. And as, as we all know, you know, there are a lot of um, China uh, um, um, company that is uh, what you call that, setting up their shop in Malaysia shop, Shopee store. So what they do is that I have, um, I joined a course, you know, I joined a program about dropshipping. And then this coach, they are directly from China, you know, and they are working very closely with um, uh, Shopee China. So their system can directly link to uh, link to like 1688, um, what all those big suppliers company in Shopee, I mean, uh, in China, they can directly link to Shopee M Malaysia, like 168, they can directly link to Shopee. So what they do is by a couple of click, then they can pull like few hundreds products directly to Shopee store. And this is the fact. This is the fact. All right. So for, lo for local uh, Malaysia um, sellers, it is very hard for us to beat them. That is for sure. You know, in terms of like um, products, volumes and that kind of stuff, you know. So, yeah, I mean, so as a dropshipper, you know, this is the thing that you have to do. You have to do your research, upload products, test. Not working, again, do your product research, upload products, test, put some ad, put some money. Not working, again, again and again. So this is the things that a dropshipper, a successful dropshipper will do every single day. Okay. If you guys know Sky, you know, Sky um, um, came to our life um, some, some time before, a couple, couple, couple of months back. So he says, your shop have to be at least at 500 SKU. Yes, that is a very, very typical um, dropshipping business module. Yeah. So you really, really have to upload as much product as possible so that people can catch your store. Okay. On the other hand, what we teach over here, you know, on a, uh, on Kaki, Kaki Shopee with um, teacher um, Jamie and also Dylan. So what we, what we, um, what we teach you guys is that build a brand. Okay. Build a brand. That is the most, um, I mean, if you want, if you build, build a brand, then you will not need to have like 500 products under one brand. And in fact, I don't think there is any brands that has 500 SKU. For example, uh, Nike, I think Nike got, they got shoes, a lot of different stuff, you know, but in general, you know, if you build a brand then under the brand, you know, you wouldn't have like you will not need to have such huge um, um SKU. So build a brand is the is a goal, uh, you know. If you want to play the games to sell whatever products inside your Shopee store, you are going you are going to lose. That is for sure. Okay. So in twenty twenty one, you know, if your goal is to start up a dropshipping um store, I would suggest you to focus on niche. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, if you want to like, you know, sell everything, then you are going to lose that out. I can pretty sure you about that, you know. And um, some of the things that I can see in 2021, which is also is happening now, um, a lot of 
um, company, they are actually setting up their own online individual store out from Shopee. So they will use um, uh, we call that uh, um, services like Shopline. So to set up their own individual store, you know, because they do not want to fight, um, they don't want to have a price war with what, whatever they're selling in Shopee. So when you are selling out from Shopee, your product's value is definitely going to increase. The price is definitely going to increase, okay? Because you are not inside that market anymore. That market is what we call, um, I do not know how 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 do you guys um, um, call it, but for me, it's like Pasar Malam sort of um, um, a marketplace. So a lot of um, business, you know, companies, they come out and do their own website you know to sell their own products and from there they can increase the profit margin as well you know some sometimes you know it's not about how many units that you sell it's about how much profit that you earn if you sell only one item a day and you can earn like profit of um 30 percent you know compare with someone that have 100 units sell but they only earn total of you know same amount as the one that only sell one item so which one do you think is the winner for me it's the person that sell one item but get 30 percent profit yeah so that is the thing that you guys have to um i'm thinking about it in the long term lah. yeah and um yeah i mean if you have any question you know just feel free to comment on the comment box below and then um yeah drop shipping is not really about uploading product and that's it you know you really have to do the product research and um, get a get a suppliers and always you have to spend on ads that is for sure what i say is that if you want to go big you need to spend on ads okay everyone is spent on ads but if you are not spending on ads then you have to do some sort of um external marketing such 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 as what the heck such as on your FB live, you, know, you have to somehow drive traffic um, actively to your shop, to, to, to your store. If not, dead, man, it's dead. How to start a dropship? Uh, as, for, as long as you have a um, Shopee store in Malaysia, you, you, you can start to run a business in Shopee. No problem at, at all. Hi, hi, Bashiro. Hi, Socks. Hi, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome to the last live of 2020. All right. So I really, really hope that um, some of you guys have taken action, you know, to start your dropshipping business or any business after watching our live or on my YouTube channel, you know, because um, this year is really a life changing year for me. Yeah. If you guys know me you know i have been in the fitness industry for years you know i started up my career as a fitness instructor because that is the field that i study you know i spent so many time and so much money on getting my knowledge on this fitness industry and now uh, because of this COVID and others unexpected things you know i forced to leave the industry for now if there are any opportunities, I will definitely go in back as well because that is something that I'm really passionate about. All right. So uh, because of COVID, you know, it forced me to lose my job and it forced me to uh, do something that I am not good at, but I like to do. Yeah. And that's why I started my uh, um, channel, you know, full time running my YouTube channel full time and then also my um, Shopee business. Yeah. Hi Jennifer. Yes, I read your I read your questions on the Facebook group as well, but I do not know what services that you are using. That's why I cannot. Why I can't find sync? I really do not know. I do not understand your question. Actually, I can't find sync button. Which website are you using? Are you using uh, uh Dropship Mura? Are you using Safe Value to You? I don't even know what is this. You know, so you have to give me as much detail as possible. Okay, in order for me to help you. Wait for dropshipper to build a niche store is better one store one supplier sometimes the supplier we deal, uh, we deal with do not have many products yeah for a um 
uh, it depends actually it depends on uh, which platform that you are selling at so I have uh, friends you know that have the whole store only have two products that he is drop shipping with is a uh, facial products he only have two pro products only and he's make, making a um, few hundred thousand every single month so it's really depends on which platform that you sell at if you look at um, uh, most of the individual web web uh, individual website you know individual website you know they do not have like hundreds of products one they have like five six you no know, or ten products maximum but when you go into marketplace when you go into marketplace you know because you are competing with thousands of uh of I call it, um, of sellers so if you only have 10 products unless unless your marketing is very strong that you're able to drive external traffic into your store then yes if you only depends on the um, the external traffic inside shopee no definitely not enough unless the products you are selling is very low competitions and very high demand then it will be a yes okay i because i i buy my products i yeah i buy my products from some of the suppliers in um, shopee as well in, in bulk because i want to re resell it so this suppliers no this sell this sellers only got one item inside his shop only he is selling a um, konjac noodle so the whole shop only got one product but the thing is that um the um the sales that he has is like few um i think it's 20 over thousand 20 over thousand on that particular product but the thing is that you know uh, most of the sales do not generate okay from internal traffic of shopee he pulled traffic outside shopee to go into his store and check out using shopee because shop shopee transaction fees is quite cheap you know compared with um if you if you um, um if you have your own web web if you have your own website and you want to check out with stripe or paypal it's much more expensive so shopee is very cheap so they just so they park their products in shopee and drive traffic to and drive external traffic outside from shopee to go into shopee and check out um their products and pay the products through shopee so shopee is pretty much um so shopping is pretty much is just a uh how how should I put it it's just a place for them to park the products for checkout only yeah so if you are talking about drop shipping niche you know build a niche uh, uh um store in uh um, in shopee you know i will say 10 is definitely not not enough you know unless it's a brand no? like um there is a brand that that with um gaming one uh, their product is not a lot but because their brand is there they can attract a lot of traffic outside from shopee then it will work if you just want to depend on the internal traffic it's very tough it's very very tough yeah so yeah for uh then you have to look for suppliers though, that have uh, a more sku or you can mix lah, or you can mix one or two sub suppliers though yeah but to be very to be very honest you know if you want to drop ship in um shop shopee with a lot of sub suppliers it can be done it's just that you have to work very hard because a lot of um things that you have to write down product research you have to copy you have to cop uh yeah a, a lot of things that you have to do it's not really that easy you know you need to be okay in my opinion you need to be like uh at least spend like six seven hours you know to run your store the thing is that as i mentioned to you guys just now you know you need you need to do your product research when you get the products then you post it on your shop on your shopee okay then you put ads to run you know a couple of a week maybe one or two weeks if no sales leave it there you have to do another product research get the products you, you have to retest 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 so a lot of work that you have to uh, uh um um put in you know it's not really it's not that easy you know um yeah this 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 this, this is the things it's not that easy now compared with like you know four years back 
when four years back, I just started my store in Lazada. I was drop shipping um, form roller from Kumo 10. You know, I post today, next day got sales already right away. Even though the, uh, the product is damn expensive, I will still get sales on every single week. That was four, five years back. Now it's very different. Things are getting very transparent, you know. Whatever that you're selling on Shopee, I can get it instantly on 1688 Taobao or, or whatever places. Okay. So it's not that easy anymore. So if, yeah, you have to really do your product research, upload, test, put ads. Important is put ads. Okay. Put ads, spend some money. If not work, okay, you can pick, you can take it off or you can upload or, or you leave it there. Upload new products. Every three, every two to three days, upload new products. Test, run. Again, test run, research again, test run. And this is and this is the thing that no coaches is going to tell you guys. Okay. No one is going to tell you guys. Uh Jennifer, I have about a thousand plus video. So I don't really know which uh so yeah, so you just have to let me know like which platform is that. Because I got 1,000 plus video, I really cannot tell you which video is that. Now you have to tell me exactly which platform that I can tell you how to do it. Okay? Which Okay. Uh, for CJ, it's more on drop shipping on AliExpress, uh, 1688 and Taobao. And Kumo 10 is a local company, but most of their product is from overseas as well. If you want me, <clears throat> if you if you want me to um, comment on this these two, I will definitely go for CJ. First thing, the product is much more a lot. Yeah, they have because they are, um, you know, they they can help they can help you to do sourcing with um, Ali one six eight eight and um, Taobao. And the shipping is pretty fast, seven to fifteen days. Yeah, of course it depends on the um the the logistic. Now I think it's a bit slow because of COVID. You know, yeah, Kumo Ten is very bad in term of uh, because a lot of of our user that inside our group says Kumo Ten their product is very long, it's very expensive, and not much of variety as well, and their service is damn bad. Yeah, their customer service is damn bad. So, I mean, for CJ, for C, for CJ, each member you will be given one customer service one that you can talk to them if you have any questions. Yeah, and I personally know CJ uh, person in charge and their staff as well. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I I got this as well. You know, you guys can see. So. Yeah, this is from CJ Dropshipping. Yeah, so 2020 Partner of the Year, Wing Horn. Woo! So, I mean, thanks, CJ Dropshipping. So, yeah, the 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 thing about CJ Dropshipping, you know, it's not like um, I earn a lot of money from them. You know, I, they don't pay me any cents. Honestly, they do not pay me any cents. But, of course, I will have some sort of um, um, v, v, VIP access to, to their things, you know, so, and that's why I know how they works. And, um, yeah, they are very competent. They are very competent. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my thing with them. So me using, I am, well, it depends on which, um, perspective that you are talking about okay outsourcing platform like yes if you are talk about convenience and the difficulty of using um save value or dropship definitely much more easier if you are talking about how easy or how hard to use it is definitely the easiest okay when you talk about not good what do you mean by not good in what perspective the pricing um the products variations you know so you have to, you know, uh, yeah, sorry, it's my Shopee. So you, you have to know, yeah, which per perspective that you are talking about. Yeah. It's just like, um, uh, buying a house in Desert Park City. 
if you if you talk about the environment you know it's definitely good you know but the price is so expensive so it depends on which sort of things that you're talking about here okay everything got is bad and good thing advantage and disadvantage it's advantages and disadvantages so it depends on which perspective that you're talking about okay Kumutan so pricey and logistic is so long yes 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 so that is the disadvantage law the disadvantage of Kumutan will be pricey you know the logistic is long but if we're talking about convenience yeah it is very convenient okay but if we are comparing um Kumutan safe value and dropship murah um uh, i would definitely go for safe value and dropship murah yeah Thanks, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just stop sharing my screen first. Okay. Yo, hi, Kim. What up? What up? As we always know, stop. Yeah, I get a lot of complaint about this as well. So, I mean, there are always advantages and disadvantages about, you know, this sort of things. There are no platform that have a lot of stock. Uh, uh, price are very cheap and the shipping is like one or two days. There aren't anything like that at this point. I really hope that there are something like this in the future, but now it's no. Okay. So you have to like always compensate. And the best, um, if you want something that is fast, you know, um, that's cheap, then you have to be a stockist. End of story. Okay. Don't argue. For this, it is like that. Yes, definitely. Definitely. If you if you uh if you work that, um if you just search on a certain keyword you know that is on same value to you the whole page is the same same product same same product images same product title same product descriptions and same price as well yeah how to do shopee ads um i will just quickly show you a link on how you can learn it's hard for me to tell you over here so i will quickly share you a um I will just quickly share the link. It's actually um, a video by Dylan. So normally those that want to learn about Shopee ads, you know, I will just ask them to go to learn with my Sifu. Dylan, yeah. Bear with me here yeah, because I'm working with another com computer here. Okay. Let me just quickly answer another question first while waiting for the laptop. Hi, Alexander. How are you? I... Oh, sorry, bro. I don't use any um, local fulfillment. The only local for food, the, lo <laughs> the only local fulfillment that I use is um, Teacher Jamie. Yeah, because I put all my stock with um, Teacher Jamie Punya Warehouse. Yeah, store and send is good because um Dylan told me before. Yeah, it's a friend of Dylan. So Dylan when your friends own this store and send. Yeah. So it's it, it's good uh, based on him. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Alexander, because yeah, because my staff is my staff is with um teacher Jamie. I put my staff to teacher Jamie and then teacher Jamie um just Send me the bill every single month. Yeah. Uh, so for those that want to learn about um Shopee ads, you know, this is the link. Go for it. Hi Kim. I generally I do not reply any any Facebook messages. If you have any question, you know, you can just uh pop it up on my YouTube uh, on my Facebook group. I will just share the link okay just just share your questions on my facebook group which is kaki kaki shopee you no know, just just post it over there because i don't do any one one to one punya consultation it, it will take too much of my time and um yeah i'm i'm not those coaches that that earn money from giving co courses you know i cannot i have my shopee store to to run i have my youtube channel to run 
so i wouldn't be able to give you guys one-on-one -on -one now sorry but one day when i was you know uh, um, able to to uh how how should how, how should i put it if i have a team to run for me next time then i will personally reply one one to one but now i can't i really do have time yeah so any questions post on my kaki kaki shopping group okay um if no one answer you i will personally answer you do not worry at all you know we have a very strong community inside this kaki kaki shopping in um facebook group all right so any question just let me know okay it's um 8 40 so another 20 more minutes and oh one more thing to show you guys Ugh. this year a lot of presents you know yeah and this is actually the yeah i know that i have been uh um, telling you guys that i am going to do a unbox video of my hundred thousands um silver button unboxing video but i really do not have time i yeah i'm just too tired you know so I, I i will do it tomorrow yeah i'll do it tomorrow i promise so those are the things that i get you know um for myself yeah so it's definitely a very good reckon reckon is recognition like some, something like that sorry my english is really bad so yeah yeah i mean for you guys that want to start something you know just go for it i am just like you guys you know i do have a strong background you know i do have a rich parents i don't have much in education you know like some of you guys are degree master holder or whatever holder is that so um but what i do have i have the consistency in doing things you know and i stay very very focused um sometimes lost focus as well but yeah most of the time i am quite focused yeah yeah so yeah i mean you just have to start doing i don't really have much um advice for those that want to start online business you know or any things that in life it's just like going to the gym you know if you want to have a six pack or nice or oh, sexy body you know you have to really go to the gym in a very consistent basis you know and it's same as online business you have to keep doing it 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 and keep doing it you know until you reach there yeah so i am just a normal guy like you guys you know and i do not know um am i going to earn the same money um next year uh more money or less money i do not know at all but what i do know is that i just have to keep going that's it yeah i have to keep going that's why yeah this this um this afternoon you know i i, I went for a lunch with one of my best friends you know so yeah he says that wing are you always always stay at home for what you know then i say if i don't stay at home you know i really cannot because all my work you know i had to do it my own you know i i do want to hire someone to do it i just interview um a dude you know two two days back you know because i want to dedicate some of my youtube video you know for them to repro reproduce you know so during a zoom wing bole no problem everything is you know steady boom bb whatever shit like you know okay steady steady then right after that oh sorry wing i don't think i have the time da, 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 da. so and i am paying three thousand ringgit for a part-time job you know so i think three thousand is a lot of money for a part-time okay because that is my full full time income when I was working as a fit, fitness coach, I get three thousand for a full time. But um, yeah, so hello, hello, this is Jamie. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so yeah, on, on the way to where again? Way. Surprise! <laughs> Happy New Year! Yeah, Happy New Year. to Kelantan right now. Oh, so yeah i'm inside the car <laughs> <laughs> i plan to do it in a restaurant but i feel like a bit paise <laughs> oh, so, you so i better just already. stay in the car for a while and just want to say hello to everybody i finished my already <laughs> now uh on the way la, on the way still got another one and a half hour to reach my 
uh, my 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 place my kampung. <laughs> oh, very far. From KL to your kampung, ah. Huh? Eh, oh, drive, drive. drive. We need about, of course, uh, like two stop like that lah. Like a short uh toilet break. Then we need about five hours. Yeah, oh, okay, five okay. hours. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah, how's everything? Um, Sunday, <clears throat> Sunday. Oh, okay. so Monday I can get back to work. So okay. this is kind of like a refreshing oh. trip. Trip. <laughs> it's good to. Oh, by the way, uh, so but your store is still working. Like you have the staff. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Still, still operating. The boss go to the clear leave. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Anything that you want to uh, 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 um so yeah. you wanna see? Happy yeah. <laughs> Another two more days. Yeah, two more days you already. Yeah? Yeah. Anything that you wanna tell um the audience before you bring off? Okay. Um, actually, I just want to um, say hi to everybody and of course, uh, I want to share that um, surprisingly, uh, we make it all the way like since, I think I joined you guys since April. Mm -mm -mm. So, so, from April, you know, I, 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 I went missing lah. But the thing is, I think this is something that I'm very proud of myself <laughs> because I never did something for such a long time and like continuously, like every Tuesday. Oh my God. So, yeah, so consistent. So, uh, yeah. So another thing that I hope that everybody uh, who is watching right now, so no matter what you do, I hope that uh, coming year that you cons you be consistent and uh, yeah continue to try and like a another thing is like uh, you know the lazada study group i remember mm -hmm. that time um wing you see we, we just start, set up on uh, in month of june right and yeah. then that time i was like um yeah the one la set up this kind of community you know uh you know uh, i don't know how to set up and things this and that this and that like a lot of reason you know and in the end i just like do Go, go to Canva and then just do a banner and then start the group, right? Because you okay. say, yeah, just go and do it. I was like, yeah, yeah, me, like that one. Eh. No, no content, la, no nothing, la, you know, very scared, la, you know, all this. So in the end, uh, up to today, we already have 1,300 <laughs> followers. Yeah, so again, to all our viewers, so when you start something, you will have a lot of reason uh, or you you are very afraid of starting something new, uh, so just uh, don't stop there. Get a friends that can help you to push you, and just go ahead and do some things that is insecure. So you you. Grow. It's a bit lagging. I think it's the line because then, you are on highway. And uh, somehow, the result you also don't know one right now. Something that I think uh, is very, very proud of the community. I think Jamie is a bit lagging now. Yeah, because um, yeah, she's driving up to Kantan, you know. Rolling and rolling and rolling. Okay, I think I really into jungle already. <laughs> so I mean, uh, yeah, what I'm trying to yeah, I just quickly uh wrap up lah. Huh? Okay, so it's <laughs> like um I, I I mean let's grow together lah. I mean next year will be uh not an easy year as well. So I think we should stay. Uh, together in this community and you know help each other to grow together and then of course every progress you know every action that we take we will find a new result whether it's work or not 
um, we just have to try lah. So I just want to say happy new year, everybody, and all the best in two zero two one. Yay! Okay. Yeah, see you. Take good care, Jamie, and um, yeah, see you next week. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll be back next week. <laughs> okay. See you. See you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay, Yo, this is from Teacher Jamie, a quick one. So, yeah, you know, um, whatever Teacher Jamie, whatever Teacher Jamie says is actually is very, very true. You know, when the first time I met um, Teacher Jamie, it was through a um, a online class through through Zoom. So she says that uh, Wing, I want to um, start something new, start a new project. You know, hi fake, hi fake, hi guys, hi guys. Hi, fake. Hi, programming 101. Oh, program. Are you a programmer? So, yeah, I mean, she says that she wants to start something and then um, because she has been selling for years, you know, for five, six years, she started very, very small, which she buy uh, Lego from Shell petrol stations. Okay. And then we sell back to um, to lelong.com at the time. So from there she grow. So after five, I mean, after like one certain stage, you know, you will um, definitely um, reach the bottleneck and then you want to move up. So it's either you start something new, you know, or you get some um, partners, you know, to do some new projects. And then he said, oh, wait, so what sort of thing that I can do and stuff like that? So I, I, I'll just suggest, why not you start your support groups and then we can do some coaching as well. And then bang, you know, then uh, me, Dylan and Jamie. So we started all this stuff. Yeah. And yeah, it went well, you know, and of, of course, I mean, uh, me, Dylan and Jamie, we do meet every single day one. The, I think, I think this is a really a misconception. Um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's just my own perspective, you know, a lot of people say that you know you need a team to work together and you know stuff like that it is true that you need a team but the team you know you do not need to like you know hold hand you know every single day when you shit when you sleep you know you hold hand together that is a really a misconception for me you know if you guys if a group of people together but this group of people they don't they do not have any synergy and they don't uh, uh they don't uh progress they don't start things up that do not do anything no point to have a group you might as well do it on yourself okay so team is good but not necessary a team will help you to move forward you need to uh, find the right team okay like uh, me uh, me dylan and jamie you know we don't see each other every single day we don't even see each other every single week we might meet up you know once every few months you know it's all about taking action so Teacher Jamie do her part, I do my part, Dylan do a part. That is a teamwork as well. Rather than 10 people doing the one damn job for what? Waste time, waste, waste money. So if you really want to do something, you know, you do not need to have a team. You can do it on your own first. When you build things up, then the right people will come to your team. The right people will join your group. If you have not, not if you have not nothing to show, you know, it's very hard. It's very hard. It's just like, uh, you know, you know, when you are young, you know, you have the energy, you know, hey, uh, um, uh, you, you call your best friend. Hey, uh, uh, you know, I have this uh, project. I have this idea. Come on, we go mama and talk, you know. So when you guys reach mama, talk like damn hang on, you know. Wow, I want to do this, this, uh, wow, 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 Xiong Xi, you know, IPO, uh, we want to collect money, wow, whatever, angel investment, uh, crowdfunding, whatever shit. After the night, nothing happens. So you wasted your night, you wasted your time, you wasted your money to buy a roti chanai, they direct and nothing happened at all. Okay, so that is the thing that I have been through, you know, long time ago, you know, when you have an idea, so you want to ask your best friend, you know, your close friend to, hey, come on, I have this idea, you know, then they talk, wow, write down, wow, much of yes, or wow, write whatever shit, you know, wow, marketing plan, or wow, there, 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 there. Tomorrow, hey, how's the plan? Ah? Oh, I, I'm not, I'm not free or not. Nah, 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 nah. You know, so yeah, I mean, start first, you know, don't wait 
um, when you have a team, you know, don't even need to talk to anyone about your plan. Do your plan, you know, uh, um, execute your plan, take actions. Then when you run a program, when, when the thing is out, when you show results, people will start to come to you. Hey, Winger, how do you do it? Hey, Winger, how can I do that? You know, then at that time, then only you can, oh, this is how I do it. If you want to learn, you know, we can uh, partner up or, you know, those kind of things will happen. All right. So for you guys that want to yeah start something, you know, you do not actually need to have a plan. Sorry, you do need to have a team or group of people. Then only you do it. For me, you no, know, I start everything by my own from scratch, from kosong, huh, from zero. I start my YouTube channel. I learn things on Google. That's why a lot of people say, "Hey, wing, how to how to do this? Google are they? That's how I learn things. That's why I you know." Google lah, they easy. I learned my Shopee, I learned my Lazada, I learned my YouTube, everything I learned from Google. Yeah, because when you ask someone a question, depends on who you ask. If you ask someone that's really good in you, YouTube, hey, how to do this? They'll think like, who are you to ask me? Show me what you have first. This is a date true reliability. You know, even though, even though you're very, very close with that, friends okay i have a bad i have a few close friends when how to do youtube whatever stuff i will still answer them yeah i will still answer them one yeah unless it's very unless it's some of the very technical stuff like that i will say you just google it because i also don't know how to do it okay so um yeah you i mean now is a uh, now is a time you know that um information is very transparent you can pretty much get whatever learn whatever that you want to learn online so there is really no reasons for you to start any business okay it was says that um, i need to fork up a lot of money wing i know money that day i start uh i left i mean my bank account up to age of 32 years old i have five thousand only inside my bank that's all I have inside my bank. And this is, and this was um, end of last year. I only have 5,000 ringgits in my bank. Okay. Because when I was working as a fitness coach, I don't inject shit. Yeah. I get like very dirt cheap um, sal 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 salary, but I love the job. Yeah. I am very, I am a guy that's very passionate about fitness. You know, I love training. So I say, screw it, you know. I, I just do that at the end of the day you know when you didn't get paid uh, according to the level of qualifications you know it's 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 very hard lah. so yeah what else what else what else what else your dedications thanks alex well because i think i do not have any choice yeah that's why my only choice is to work hard yeah, yeah is to keep moving like first gum yes just keep moving, keep moving, no matter how hard it is, no matter how many times you get hit, get hit, you know. For me, life is not about, you know, how much hit that you get, you know, it's how much, it's how much hit that you get and you can uh, um, stand back up and keep moving, get hit, you know, come back up and keep moving. I think that that is about life. Lah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do that da, 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 and pay for a cost through payments. Sure um can you uh yeah i have tried message you on fb yeah I'll, I'll read the fb right after right after this live okay and um uh programming is a very good industry in terms of you can start your online courses you can start your online tutorial very easy very very good money i myself i bought a lot of programming online courses but it's damn hard because I try to uh, uh, um, create my own apps, my own apps, you know, about only all the programming stuff. So I bought a lot of online programming courses. Woo, it's damn hard, babe. It's damn hard. So I, 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 give, I give up. So now I'm using um, Firebase. Yeah, I use Fire, uh, Firebase to do my, my apps. Good job, bro. Good job. Good job, man. It's not an easy course, bro. If it 
done well. Yes, yes. I mean, um, yeah. Just try our very best lah to do whatever that we have lah. You know, um, if you say like you know, earn a, I earn a lot of money. I don't earn a lot of money to be very honest. You know, I don't earn a lot of money, but um, yeah, enough to keep myself survive. You know, and to feed some of the cats. You know, that come to my house very now now and then. Yeah. I make full game publishing Google Store, make like three games, but lazy already. Well, I actually I don't know. I, I don't know about this. Um how profitable is apps. I do not know. But my new project next year, you know, um search as you know that I have my new project on the meditation or audio. So I will create an app for that. Yeah, that will be my next year punya project. Lah. So yeah, when I make my first thousand thousand dollars i will share with you guys yeah so yeah i mean just do it so i will quickly another <clears throat> yeah so i will use a firebase so firebase is like a drag and drop it's like um using it's how i build my website like it's, it's only drag and drop it's very simple yeah it's very simple so I will just stay for another maybe five more minutes. Lah. So 9.05, then I'm going off. Lah. Okay, I want to play some game also. So yeah, any questions? You know, I really hope that next year will be a great, great year for all of us. Especially those that are... Yeah, what's this? Sometimes not just for the total sum of money. I think the total new industry is hard. Yes, I agree with you. But if you have the money then life will be much more easier but if you don't have money if you want to start from scratch in a new industry phew, hard bro yeah it's a uh, yes you definitely need very, need very big balls and i will say you have to understand the new industry the industry that you want to go into lah. so do your research yeah do your research who is the taiko in the industry what they do what they offer what is their price how they do things yeah so yeah going to a new industry actually you can go into any industry you know uh without using much money one for example if you want to go to industry like um a new online business like youtube you know you don't need to spend any money one yeah you have to spend time to do your research your video i mean some maybe some soft software to invest in your video editing software law and that's it yeah so boss is very important <laughs> to be very honest yeah boss is don't a lot of time we scared you know we scared you know to go into um, a certain industry the reason why we scared you know is because we do not know the industry you know we do not understand the industry that's why we scared because we do not know what will happen that's why we scared so it's just like when you are going after a girls, you know, you need to have big balls as well to out to ask them to go out, you know, because you scared to ask them to go out because you do not know what is the answer and you do not want to get rejected. Yeah. So same as going into a new industry because we do not want to fail. We do not want to lose out. That's why we scared. And, um, from my perspective, you know, the things that I learned from going to a new industry is that, uh, you know, um, expect to fail, you know, um, expect to fail, go in, expect to fail. If you win on the first attempt, great job. You are the lucky one. But um, yeah, most of us, we will fail like maybe five to 10 times before we be success the first time. So yeah, just have that kind of mentality when you go into a new industry. Yeah. As expect to fail but of course you have to do your your what you call it um your research about the industry first lah you know but you know yeah just go in yeah yeah i have feel a lot of times dude yeah i feel a lot of times yeah on my yeah actually on my third yeah i don't know what actually i do or, or, um i don't actually know what i do all the time to be very honest i do very random things when i feel like doing then i would do yeah i yeah so but anyway you know so i am leaving now 
you know if you have any questions you know you can just pop up just just comment on the comment box below and i will get back to you as soon as i can and i to be very honest i really 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 hope that all of you guys that is watching this live now you know you can start up some projects on a part-time basis you know whatever online business youtube affiliate marketing uh setting up a rumley burger store selling fruit juice open up a a a, a coffee kiosk uh, um you know whatever lah, you know whatever go for it just go for it put this on to your 2021 new year resolutions start something you know and um yeah that's it from me and i wish everyone happy new year and um yeah take good care guys see you all bye bye